Hi guys, I'm Mark. I'm Penny. And we are the Oyster Boys. And uh, today we've got another all grain kit from the Montmeller. Yes, we have. So it's the Tutor Style number 11. Yeah, which so is? It's, it's, well, it's the Hazy Pale, uh, but it's made with Amarillo and Brew One. Oof, here I am, adding the grain. On that cold day, as you can see, uh, trainers don't fit me quite properly. Must have been lazy, so getting all that goodness. Here I am, just doing the sparge. Forgot to put some oats in, didn't I? So uh, if you were... <laughs> If you uh, ever bake a recipe, make sure you get those 200 uh, grams of uh, oat kernels in. Here I am with my junior brewer. Yeah. He wasn't more interested whether he saw a plane or a rocket in the sky. Just letting all that uh, boil over and throwing in the hops. I like to make sure all the froth has gone off before throwing the hops in. Oh, Otherwise, if you throw the hops in, you basically just get all the hops going around the edge. And you end up having to scrape them and put them back in. So, uh, penny tip. So we have the hops into the whirlpool here. So we've got it down to uh, cool it down with the chiller to about 80 degrees and then uh, drop the hops in. Uh, and I think the contact time was about 45, 30 to 45 minutes, it says in the instructions. Oh, nice. So Because we've already done the Nelson, Sovin and Strata version. Yes. Um, I'm guessing it's the same beer, but just different hops. Yeah, essentially. So, um, but you, when you made yours, did you mash it at 68? I followed the instructions exactly. So I, I, I assume I did. If that's what it says to do, that's what I did. I think did. that was the key thing with it. I was quite surprised. I don't think I've ever mashed at that high temperature. Really? So, and especially for a beer that's 4.7 uh, ABV. So it was quite interesting to get. So, um, but there we go. What I would say is it's really cold. It is really cold. <laughs> it's currently it's minus three. Minus three. Um, and and the it's glasses slipping all over the table. Nine, uh, nine fifteen in the morning. Perfect time to have a hazy pale, if you ask me. Why not? What better way to start the day? I mean, it looks, it's hazy and it's pale, mate. So, and uh, obviously I made this with the chubby, so uh, dry hopping as well, so I didn't have any hot bong or anything like that. Uh, okay, Ooh, yeah, yeah. To uh, do it, so I think that's... It looks really good. All right. I, I, don't think it looks, all right. I don't think it looks as bright as the last one, but I don't know, I might be... I Just, might be imagined... No, I'm only messing, mate, it looks fine. <laughs> uh, I'd give that an eight. eight well, I eight mean, two. it looks great. I mean, the head... It's holding really nicely, Con uh, yeah. considering how cold it is and stuff like that. At least we've got, got raindrops dropping into it. You know, it looks like a haze pale. It does, yeah. What so, are you scoring nice it? Uh, I'm going to score it 8.5. Perfect. Right. I think the reason why I'm not scoring it a little bit higher as much as the other one, I think I think you are right, it doesn't have that yellow glow, glow yeah. that you almost get from them, like a neon almost glow. So. Could be used Brera that, couldn't it? Well, that's something that you would say, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sure, if you made it, it would definitely would not have been brewer. It was supposed to be like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's give it a sniff. Oh, that's lovely. That's really nice. Straight it's really off. pineapple coming from that brew one. Isn't super, it? So, super pineapple. Yeah. And then obviously you got the. Almost got like a bit of strawberry in it as well and melon. I mean, to be honest, when I come down and I brought them over, I could smell them straight away. Yeah. Coming I mean, through. The smells right up my street, mate. The smells fantastic. I'm, yeah. Uh, I'm. 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 I'm a, I'm a nine one on the smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean that it's is. God tier. It's exactly what you want because sometimes you get them and you do almost just get like a pithy, citrusy ones with some of them, don't you? Whereas that's it's almost light, it's not overpowering, <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to give it a nine. You do get a bit of orange in there as well. That'll but be it's from not the, overpowering from sometimes, the Amarillo, weren't it? Sometimes they're really, really citrusy, whereas this is the yeah. stone fruit esque. Yeah, we, it's like it's, it's very tropical, isn't it? Yes, it's very tropical. Rio. I like your hat, by the way. What's that? A car hat. It's isn't? a car hat. Yeah. That's yeah, nice. It's cashmere. Like yeah, we're doing really well with the Oyster Boys. And <laughs> <laughs> All that YouTube dollar we there don't we make. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Um, should we taste it? Yeah, should we yeah. taste it? Cheers. Cheers. Good morning. Cheers. Good morning. <laughs> Cheers. Breakfast beer. <laughs> it's cold. What are your thoughts? It's got a nice bitterness, isn't it, towards the end? It's got a really nice bitterness. And I really like the... Because you do get a very pineapple-y flavour from that brew one. Personally, if I had a choice of the two... You did one. The Nelson Strata... Uh, Nelson Sovin and Strata one, I mm. prefer. Just because I prefer those hops. But this is a good... A really good beer. It's a great beer. It tastes fantastic. Yeah. I just... If I had the choice between those two hops... Combinations. I choose yep. the other. Yeah. Basically, okay. I forgot. I didn't have time to filter the water, so I just used your classic Chester tap water. So we haven't got the. But then saying that, our water's not particularly hard, and even Burton's water. It, it's not. But 
when we did the last one, yeah. I fully filtered the water and I basically used the Grain Father's um, water profile for a hazy pail. Okay. But I think we ended up with a smoother mouthfeel when we did it with the filtered mm. water and it had more of a haze, whereas this has dropped a bit. It's not, it's not clear, obviously, but it just seems not as yeah, vib not as vibrant, yeah? yeah. So, and I think it could be to do with the water profile. Yeah, it, the beer still tastes great, but I think that yeah. the mouth the mouth feel is lacking compared to the other one. I agree. I concur. Yeah. So, well, I'm going to give it an eight. Yeah, I th it's like I said, it still tastes fantastic, uh, and I'll yeah, I'll stick with that as, as an eight as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So, well, price obviously they're all priced the same. Well, no, they're all under twenty-five pounds. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, twenty-five pounds is the max price right, for the True okay, Star sorry. ones, I think, at the moment. Anyone from the Malt Villa, correct me if I'm wrong in the in the comments. Um, and it, that works out. At, if I just do my mental maths really quickly, six two p. I can read your brain. Six two and a half, maybe. Ah. Right? <laughs> 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 62 and a half pence per Mate, pint. So pulling these beers out of those prices is unbelievable. I know. It's like super hoppy. It's super fresh. Um, smells great. And it tastes great as well. <laughs> it, it tastes, tastes well. Great. It tastes great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that cold weather's really getting to your head, isn't it? It, it, <laughs> mate, it is absolutely free. I reckon I might have piles when I stand up from being sat on here, mate. This is awful. Do you hear about the people where they could have won NBA tickets to see like some super game in America and they had to sit on a, a solid ice cube with no pants on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and whoever obviously the last people were on it for the longest got to go, but because they were on it so much, their the base of the ice got stuck to the bomb and they had to get the ambulance into like imagine that, like surgically <laughs> removed. <laughs> Some probably dumb and dumber shit, that, isn't it? Yeah, but now they probably won't even be able to sit down and watch the game. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dear. Anyway, anyway, we'll carry on. Uh, uh, price? Price, it's a nine. It's a nine, nine for price. Five, nine point five for me. Yeah. I think it's superb. I can't complain. Session ability, though, mate. I could I could crush a load of this. I could probably have, like... Well... How strong is it? 4.7? So 4.7. Yeah, so it's 4.7. Who gives that? <laughs> well, there's a, load of, there's a load of lads coming over. We've got a keg, a 19-litre keg. I expect it to be empty at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, that hot bitterness at the very end is just, just probably turning me off a little bit. So I would probably no, say not for me. seven for me. Because I think when you burp after, bitterness goes and it's replaced by the taste of those hops again. Lovely. And it's, uh, uh, you know. It's exactly what people need to know in a review. When you burp, the hot, <laughs> the hot flavour <laughs> refreshes the bitterness. So I've never. That's what a selling point. I've never used uh, Brew One before. I've used Amarillo before in yeah. quite a few different beers and quite a few different kits, but I never used Brew One. And I really do like that pineapple. -y. Yeah. Is it like a hybrid one that they've created? Is it? it I mean, I, I think it's fairly new. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it's not something I'd heard of until recently. I think I watched a video on the Craft Beer channel, okay. I think it was, and they'd done some work with a brewery, might have been Verdant, might have been someone else, and they put out a beer with Brew One in it, and it, you know, Great. people were raving about it. I didn't try it, but people were raving about it. But, <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's when I heard about it. That's right. when I heard okay. about this hop, so it's not been around but for yeah, years. Yeah, the burps are delicious. That the come burps back, yeah. are fantastic. Uh, but session ability, I could have, I could have seven of those, no so problem. Seven. Oh, well, so we're the same then? Uh, yeah, yeah. It is, it is nine in the morning though, so I could. I think that's what it is. <laughs> you, could easily, glass, you could easily have, you, you could easily have seven if you start at nine in the morning. Sorry, mate, I'm just uh, sidetracked, though. <laughs> I thought you were going to let it drop off then. That's how cold it is. Use the force, Luke. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, so... The least the score is... How do Come on, There's, there is the oyster score <laughs> for this beer. I expect it to just like slowly appear <laughs> from the mist. That's the oyster score for this beer. Link to buy the kit is in the description down below. Smash like, hit subscribe, tell a friend, and uh, catch you on the next one. Oysters out.